If I if I'm an individual listening to this and I follow your methods, what can you promise me will be the outcome on my day to day life? A lot more energy. That's number one. Two, you will feel just alive. What is the purpose of living? It's life. To love life as it is, pure, no thoughts, no confusion. It's not there. Just feel alive. When you uh, uh, arise from the bed, you feel, okay, uh, uh, this is a new day. What am I going to do? I'm going to change the world today because I feel so good. And even though I'm not fully on right now, I know it's coming. And I want it. I want it so much. And uh, uh, you know what? It's called purpose. And that purpose, I'm, I'm living it. And that purpose is stronger than my thinking. And this society is not driven to fulfill each and every one's purpose. It's to uh, uh, have the, the, the society maintained, the system maintained, controlled by a, a couple of people. All the energy. For what? Where is the happiness? Where is the strength? Where is the health? Every day when I live my purpose, and, uh, uh, and I want to change the world, I want to bring love and power, and I'm doing that uh, with mathematical precision, with uh, uh, the mission impossible, things they, uh, I found, which I tested in uh, scientific uh, competitive studies, showing that suddenly we have so much more control. Instead of being controlled by the system, oppressing our purpose, our life's energy, and to connect with that uh, purpose, it's like love. When you feel love for your woman, for your love, for your sex, this, this, you, you don't think. That is that power. And that power you should be able to live uh, uh, and to feel for life itself every day. But we are blocked too much. Going into the cold brings you out of this thinking brain. It brings you directly into the deepest part of the brain. Because you are doing it, going into the cold, then it, it needs to be switched on, the deepest part of the brain, survival part, the brain stem, and, uh, to battle the danger of the cold. But it's there. And once it's there and you are doing it, you are connecting. There's three elements to this Wim Hof method. There's three pillars to the method. The first is that conscious breathing. So let's just make sure we've covered that off. If I want to be able to just do this at home, if I'm listening now and I'm in my car or I'm work, walking the dog or whatever, I'm on a plane, what is, what is f the sort of key parts of doing the breathing technique correctly? Yes. Do it uh, safe. Yeah. So never outside to where you can lose control. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, when you drive and you lose control, that's yeah. no good. When you are in a swimming pool, you lose control, uh, that's no good. Uh, when you are at an abyss and you lose control, no good. You know, wherever your motorical uh, 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 power is needed to be in control, don't do it there. So, therefore, we say strictly, this is a powerful medicinal therapeutical uh, exercise through breathing, specific breathing uh, patterns Teach we take on. If, uh, uh, for example, we are sitting now, yeah. it's safe to do it here. Yeah. Even if you faint now, then yeah, you would maybe fall here on the ground. It's a soft uh, uh, carpet here. There's no problem. Okay. So, relax. It's a, this is also these moments when you, okay, relax. I'm, I'm now turning myself into myself because I'm going to breathe deeper. I'm going to go past my normal uh, control, more normal conditioning, normal thinking. So, okay, am I here? Yes, I'm here. Okay, here we go. We we have a belly, we have a chest, that those uh, muscles are connected to the lungs. So use your belly and use your uh, chest okay. to inhale fully. You can go through your mouth, through your nose, as you feel. How do I know if I'm doing it correctly with my belly? Yeah, just... <laughs> So 
So two breaths in. Yeah, and, and, and at a certain moment it becomes one. Keep on going. Fully in. As deep as possible and let it go. Just let it go. And then fully in again. As deep as possible and let it go. And all in. And let it go. And all in. Let it go. The mind goes with the breath. Fully in. Let it go. And all in. Let it go. We are blowing. Keep on going. Full all in. Blowing off the CO2 carbon dioxide. Can become a little bit dizzy. Yes. But that's okay. Your body is charging up. It's changing. Your blood chemistry is changing. You may have your pH levels go up in your blood. We do 10 more. Fully in. Just follow the breath. Whatever feels different, breathe into it. Let it go. And all in. Let it go. This morning at 5 o'clock I was doing this. Because I was preparing to be freed in my biochemistry of any shit. And this is cleansing the biochemistry. Trauma, anything, anything that is deeply in is being clear. Yeah, five more. Let it go. Fully in. Let it go. All in. Let it go. All in. Let it go. Last one. All in. Let it go. And stop after the exhalation. Close your mouth. No breathing. No need. Your pH levels are way up. There's no need for breathing. What is going to happen is what I was saying, mentioning before. After one minute, and there is no need for breathing because the breathing trigger depends on CO2. CO2 is blown off. You are biohacking your body. You're going deep. You're going past the conditioned mind and body. You're going deeper in the tissue. Now you're entering into the deepest part of your brain. It's going to shoot out adrenaline, epinephrine. The adrenal axis is now in activation. Now slowly but surely, five times more blood will flow into your brain and your heart. You feel peaceful. You have it fully in control. Yet the deepest of your mechanisms and the deepest of your brain are at work right now. And because you are doing it, you are connecting with those mechanisms. That's the way we learn to gain control over these mechanisms. And you're still without breathing. Even normally, you, you, you would die. Like, you're yeah, breathing, breathing. And you're peaceful. You're completely in control over your parasympathetic nervous system, which is deep autonomic nervous system level. And you are in control right now. This is where trauma is starting to release. Five, four, three, two, one. Now you take a full breath in. Hold it and press it to your head. Press it to your head. Press it to your head. This is subliminal, cerebral, spinal fluid to your head. It's flushing in and all brain. 100% neural activity. Three, two, one. Let it go. Good. If we go into a next round, you will be able to go, say, for two minutes without breathing. 
then two and a half minutes, then three minutes. After exhalation, it is. It cannot be something else than a regaining a control deeper than ever before thought possible. And this is what we have shown. This is where the bacteria suddenly had no chance. The virus has no chance. Why is it that the world doesn't know about this? Why is it that the scientific world is not examining this as a beneficial therapeutical power to battle all the diseases we got? Because aren't we built with an immune system that should halt virus, bacteria, uh, inflammation? It is, but it is never at work because this is deeper than our conditioned body and mind. And this is the way to get a hold of that. It feels so, I feel very different in every, in every sense of the word. I feel, and when I came back into the room, it all felt very, it almost felt a little bit like I'd just woken up. But it also, I was a little, you know, it was a little bit of, it was very peaceful. Peaceful. And I was very, um, when I came back into the room, I felt very focused. Oh, nice. I that, like I... This is the last study I did with 540 people in Australia. It shows uh, that this uh, um, th this uh, method is uh, compared to meditation and mindfulness works a whole lot better. If you love the Diver CEO brand and you watch this channel, please do me a huge favor become part of the 15% of the viewers on this channel that have hit the subscribe button. It helps us tremendously and the bigger the channel gets, the bigger the guests.